try not to think about it. It's literally his only personality trait. I try not to think about him. Pain. He's been in a ring for a while. Yeah. Like he's he was easily forgettable as a ring. Not anymore. I was having fun with our new mad friend. I mean, he's still here too. So it's not all bad. I mean, we could just not all pain. Okay. And then I'm just keep that ring far back. away, yeah. and then just yeet the ring through a random portal somewhere and be like, "Oh, what a shame!" No, is there a way to combine him with Grandpa's skin, skin suit and then just get rid of them both? You leave Grandpa out of this. Well, I'd love to leave your Grandpa out of this, but you brought him with us. <laughs> I was je- he's just my armor, all right. It, look, I'm taking my grand my great grandfather on a lovely trip to the under mountain somehow this is not I... as fun as weekend at bernie's <laughs> it's weirder when it's just a skin i'm doing my social contributions taking the elderly out on day trips all right elderly and deceased two slightly different things but just a little no, nonetheless, there's a lot of different things uh, packed into this tiny little corner of the dungeon that you all have settled in to have some sort of a talk or an intervention with each other. I'm not exactly sure what. In your company, we have an octopus, a shaved dwarf who used to be a man and still is a dwarf somewhere in there, Nurgan the Mad, Kuro, and Nintaris. Seated in a very tiny room, what looks like used to be some sort of tiny forge or workshop. There are a few little hammers laying around, you would guess, gnomon in architecture. Not too far from a glowing portal to discuss what your next moves were, or air grievances about being trapped in rings. Did you have any grievances to air about being trapped in rings? So, Lethvagi would be more interested in looking at his new body he's not very happy about it he's not used to being short he's not used to being as kind of stocky and his skin is far too good he spends a little bit of time on his own praying and scarring himself Kuro would like to be away from this We'll go, we'll go over here. We'll hang oh, out over he, here at the look yeah. of this portal. He will, I'm going to join you. He, it is very clear that this is a important religious right to him. It's like the um, uh, self-flagellation. It's that kind of thing. Prayer is between you and God, so <laughs> you can have the room to yourself. He will, after a while, come to the rest of the group and say, May I have all of your attention for a while? I have some things I feel would be important to say. Uh, As I look around you all, I know you don't truly understand me, at least not yet, but but maybe it is time that you did. So so let me ask you this. What would you do if you and your friends found a stray injured dog? Most would think to help it to nurse it back to health, maybe even show it some kindness. But when I was faced with that situation as a boy, my response was different. I didn't feel pity or compassion. Instead, I felt curiosity, a deep, undeniable urge to understand pain, to see it, to control it. Yes, when I was young, I did something unforgivable. I took that dog and instead of helping it, I inflicted pain. I watched as it as it suffered and I did not look away. At first I felt shame, a filthy sort of guilt for what I had done. But it was not because I regretted the act, no. It, it was because the world had taught me that such desires were wrong, twisted, evil even. But then I found her, Luvieta, the maiden of pain. A goddess who not only accepted what I was, but gave her purpose. She showed me that pain, both given and received, has a place in this world. Pain is a force, like love or hatred, with its own power, its own domain. So tell me, how how can it be wrong to follow the teachings of a god? How can it be wrong to embrace the gifts she has given to me, to indulge in the part of myself that others fear to even acknowledge? She gave me purpose, and 
now I've been given a task, a task that re requires more than just my own devotion. Leviathar has charged me with restoring her house of pain, the temple where I fell. It is a place of power, of suffering, of truth. But it is clear to me that I cannot do this alone. I need your help to bring it back to its former glory. To make it a beacon for those who understand the beauty of pain, the necessity of it. I know I wasn't the most pleasant when we first met, and though I'm not one for apologies, consider this, well, close enough. We do not have to like each other, but there is something greater at stake. I must delve deeper into the dungeon and recover an ancient relic, one that was taken to the depths to protect it when the temple was sundered last. I've managed to piece this together while I was trapped in the ring from the what we saw in the temple if you help me i will reward you not just with gold or power and, but with the favor of my church and my goddess having us on your side can only benefit you together we can achieve something far greater than any of us could alone and if the nature of me or my goddess disturbs you tell yourself that you are simply doing the wishes of a divine being that cannot be wrong, can it? So I ask you, I beg you, will you stand with me and help me on my divine quest? Can I ask something first? Of, of course, Claude. Do you think the dog wanted the pain you inflicted on it? Do you think the dog appreciated it? No. Or do you think the dog would have wanted to be helped and maybe live longer? I believe that I was a young, foolish boy. I believe that I did not know about the rights and wrongs of this world. Now, would I do the same? Absolutely not. But it is what happened and I cannot change that. I, I do not now inflict pain on those that do not either wish it or those that are attempting to kill me. I believe you inflict pain when you are attacking something. Yes, I do the same. But I don't take joy in it. When I am defending myself or fighting for a cause, I, I do it. The enjoyment is second. Yet. There are many warriors who enjoy, who enjoy the thrill of combat. Are they not? Are they all wrong? I don't pretend to know what's all is right and wrong, but I... I know what is right and wrong for me, and I will say no. I will not help you on your holy quest. I will travel with you. I'll help you get through this dungeon. I will not do anything to cause more pain or cause you yourself pain or others pain. I'm not going to help you bring your temple back to life. That's just, I, I will not do that. But I, I will continue to travel with you and help you in this. I will help you. I will not help your cause. I believe in helping me through this dungeon, you will be doing the same. Well then, I guess I, it will be up to me to know when to step back <laughs> and not help. Why, thank you for the help that you have offered. I've got to admit that I'm in agreement with Kuro. Pain and suffering, whether it's wanted or not wanted, is the antithesis of what I do as an entertainer. I entertain people and bring them joy. I don't beat them because they want it. That's mm, certain elements of society that I mm, don't partake in. So I'm happy to watch you and record your stories so that you have a bard who is making note of how you've helped your church, but I can't actively help. I can help keep you alive. My, my call for assistance is, is only to aid me in delving deeper into the dungeon so I can rescue a relic. You do not, either of you, have to involve yourself in the church. I do not intend to. I won't be. I, I would also say that for those, for some of those who dedicate themselves to Le it it is joy. There is joy in that, that task. I'm not disputing that. I said there were certain elements of the of society that did find joy in it. However, that is not me or the clientele that I entertain. That is 
Well, there are some stories I could tell you about the clientele that you do entertain. But maybe another time. Ah. Uh, Nergin. I am afraid that, um... Look, Loviatar and I are not on uh, good, good terms, and um, I am not sure that I would continue. Uh, I'm not sure she would be very happy if I, I was involved in any part of her, her story. She, uh, she and I have not seen eye to eye for quite a number of years. Um, I, I believe this may be, if you two wish to continue travelling with. Fargi, this may be where I um, go my own way, and he will look at Kuro and Taurus. Who are we voting off the island? Uh, I don't <laughs> want anyone off the island! I know who Kuro wants to vote off the island, but I know Rob has spent a lot of time on this character! <laughs> <laughs> he just made what he believes to be the most heartfelt and self-depreciating and humble plea for assistance that anyone's ever made. Yeah, heartfelt probably shouldn't start with dead puppies, but you know. <laughs> that is Kuro. certainly a choice. Kuro, uh, Lothbargi, I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to go and talk to Kuro alone. Do, do we want to travel with the mad one? They're both mad in just different ways. Do we want do we want to oh, travel no. with the, the tall mad one or the short mad one? Because I want the short loot mad one has and adventures. Mm, true. But he doesn't have the money here. No. Do we even know what Nergen wants here? Or is, did he we just kind of found him and he just kind of came with us? Like And he's kind of been honest about the whole I'm mad. I appreciate that. Like well, I, I appreciate the, the, the forethoughts in just telling us. We didn't like sign anything up top, did we? That said we had to keep I'm just I my memory's not the best. No, I don't think we did. But there was some sort of agreement that there was money for us at the end of this? Did I write that down? No, I think that was only if we found the th the thing the other noble was looking for. Only part of this I like is the money part. I am having the same inclinations. I don't want to leave Nergen by himself either, though. Like, in this place? Do we think he can handle himself? Uh, I mean, when we found him, he was basically dead, so I don't think he can handle himself without us. Is this portal working? That's by us? Uh, the portal that you are standing and talking next to, yes, uh, has been glowing for since you got back here. Okay, I feel if... We, we could. We could get Nergen <laughs> a could. safe way out of here. We Feel could just run bit. through the portal and have we our could just adventure. Run away. <laughs> You're pretty stealthy. I'm pretty wordy. Like we're a decent team. We could just run this... through the portal. They're I've not got looking this at us right Thelma now. Thelma and Louise image of like <laughs> Kuro and then Taris just jumping through the portal. We 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 could just throw Grandad's skin suit through the portal. Lethargy would follow Grandad's skin suit, and then we break the portal arch, trapping Lethargy and Grandad's skin suit. This is the best idea of you had all day. Some, sometimes, sometimes the, the coins click together. If that doesn't work, however, maybe... We'd have pissed off Lethargy and Grandad skin suit. I think they already don't like us. They're just keeping mm, us out of, out of necessity. I think if, but as long as I'm not forced to do anything too weird and painful and kinky, I can put up with it for the sake of some gold at the end. Yeah, I'm as long as it's an adventure for me to write about and uh, I can figure out some things then i'm i'm happy like so what we do is we travel with the foggy and then when we he wants to go off and do this weird self painful kinky stuff we sit there and watch because we're not getting involved sexy fantasy stuff is like really big in the the literature sphere right now so you could you could make some good money oh, off of that i i i could Sorry, and, is, and your the noble version of not getting in, is your version of not getting involved voyeurism? I was just I'm saying, this covering is my voyeurism? eyes, but the bard can watch. I told you, I, I, I told, I'm not told right the, the sexy fairy books. that he would write adventures as a bard, which means... Oh He's oh, going to watch. Oh, oh, so Nentaris is going to bring out a line of smut when he gets out of here. Is that, is that what That's it is? That's good money. <laughs> yes, it sells well. Fine. 
I am happy to be your muse. <laughs> oh, how the campaign's changed from episode one. You might have to put this one out on the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. do we want to ask Nurgan if he would just talk to Nurgan about maybe going through the portal or if he feels comfortable traveling by himself? I'd hate to see anything or hear of anything bad happening to him down here. We could give him Dexel. I thought I got rid of Dexel. Oh, did we get rid of Dexel? I can't remember. I thought I left Dexel in the goblin room. Oh, you might have. But I'm not positive. I'm not 100%, to be honest with you. Uh, if you did. He's not currently here, uh, as you just recently left there. So, we talk to Nurgan. We see if Nurgan wants to go off and do a solo adventure. We travel with Lithvagi the Dwarf. We did agree to do that first. And we didn't have any claws in there about death and undeath. And no, and it was kind of our fault he died, because neither one of us had the right spells we needed to make sure he didn't. Well, maybe he should just shouldn't have died. Maybe I mean, he, he didn't he trip better. on his own ball bearings. Like, he, yeah, that he was bad at setting traps. Yeah. That's how I remember it. And that's how everyone else will remember it, because I'm the bard mm -hmm. and I write the story. So... So we travel with Lithvagi, we see if we can give something to Nurgan, and then if Lithvagi dies, we see if we can summon Nurgan again. Or maybe we'll find a third mad person. Good things always seem to come in threes. Or things seem to come in threes. bad things come in threes. Which would be Lithvagi, so Grandad got... Skin Suit, and... That's two. What's mm. the third bad thing? A shaved dwarf? <laughs> maybe. Dave George so we should have lots more good things. Body. We should do. Yeah, that there is also the mysterious other party member that is just the dwarf that is trapped in the back of his own mind currently. Just but saying. you know, it's fine. I so. want to go back to my bakery. <laughs> I don't like it down here anymore. I I, mean, I can I, buy so many pastries with the money we're gonna get it out of this. Oh, pastry. If you I ever want one, I've got plenty. Don't tell the Foggy, I'm not giving him any. <laughs> Good, we can have secret pastry meetups. Secret pastry meetings. All right. Should we travel with the with, with Foggy then? It, we we don't have to get involved in anything he's doing, and like if it's a bad fight, we we can just leave him because we're not getting involved in him saving his church. So if it's a bad fight for the church, we don't. We can just walk away. Like Maybe I'll just accidentally cards. not have the right spell again or something. Who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll burn that I have other spells I could use. We'll, we'll figure it I out. Could, yeah, we'll you figure and me, it out. We're good at figuring stuff out. We've, we've done well so far. Yeah. So. We, we we stole all of that stuff from... Danathar, was it? Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, we made a mess as well. That was fun. Do you think they cleaned the bathroom space out? Or do you think it's still, like, bubbly and overflowing? Well, it's kind of cleaning itself if you think about it, if it's full of soap. True, but then that begs the question, is a towel always clean because it's drying a clean body? Or is it always dirty? Did you, did you make the world's first dishwasher? That's what it We're going to be like so it. rich when we get out of here. With all our good ideas. Magical yep. scrubbing bubbles. Yeah. Bundle right. it with your smut book, and there you go. We're in two industries. Well, you, you'd need you'd need magical cleaning bubbles after the smut book, so it, it, it ties in. It's all the same industry. I used to I used to work in a carnival. Now look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're traveling with Lithwagi. We're sending Nug and the Mad through the weird portal that we're not going to jump if through. If he'll allow it. If he'll allow it, and if not, then he can he's follow his us. Own, he's he's so he's his own madman. He can. Make a decision for himself. He really thinks he can handle it out there. I think that works. And if he wants to come with us, he can do that. So we're not like kicking him out. No, I mean we've got Jebediah. Like he doesn't really provide anything but look at that cute Moral little support. Face. He can hold eight pom poms. He's the best cheerleader. Yeah, he's he's good for morale. Yes, we need it now that Fark is back. Yes. How Did we bring Jebediah to our our little yep. talk? <laughs> What do you yeah. think, Jeb? He shrugs with eight tentacles. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. I, I, I think we're all in agreement. We're gonna have to pick the, the short mad one. 
Right. Because money. The short king it is. Do you know what we could do? We could play a prank on him, though. Hmm. How? Make sure he goes to sleep first, and when he's asleep, we heal his body so that he has to keep scarring himself every day. But then we have to watch him do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead. We need to... What was that, that accidental spell we ran into <gasps> where he couldn't hurt himself? No, even better. I've got a bottle of that... Um, Feywild potion stuff I stole from Xanathar will douse him in it and change his skin color, make him pink and purple. That could be fun. That could be fun. And he'll just have to deal with it because what other body does he have? Exactly. Or he could go back in the ring and we could put it back in the bag. I could tie it to the skin suit and throw them both through the portal. Yes. Or we sell the ring when we get back up top. And then he's someone else's problem. I'd feel a little bad about that though, just unleashing him into the the public no no what we do is we put him we put the ring in a bottle with a message that says put on if you dare and then we throw the bottle as far as we can out into the ocean when it's not our problem that could be fun and we did warm them technically with the note yeah we'll That's figure it you out think, you about. think less vagi is bad and you're talking about murdering him <laughs> to inflict him upon other we wouldn't murder it's just if he happened to die again ring. Then we okay. just trap him again. That's that's morally fine then. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't kill anybody. Uh, I mean, we preserved we, your consciousness. We, we and just we didn't have you the on right a spells. tropical vacation. It was an accident. It was an accident. <laughs> just a happy little accident. I feel like there's a lot of accidents incoming in this <laughs> future situation. Well, in any case, uh, you three. Jebediah, Nintaris, and Kuro have had your whispering session in the back corner whilst Nurgen and Lethvaga give each other uneasy eyes from the hallway. Yeah, there's been like stony, awkward as shit silence the entire time. So do you want to tell Lethvaga or do you want me to tell Lethvaga? I think you're better with words than I am as the writer and the bard. That's true. Okay. Well, what is it to be? We've come to a unanimous decision. Jolly good. Um, well, Jeb didn't really vote one way or another, so... Well, he tried, but he's got eight limbs, and therefore, kind of, it was a split tie between the two. Fascinating. So we're going to throw Grandad's skin suit through the portal. Uh, I've got a, a passive insight of 20. I know he's not that entry. Uh, he he definitely has some sort of reasoning behind why he's saying that, but that that is the truth. He does want and intend to throw your granddad's skin suit through the portal. That That is the first thing that he intends to do. There's definitely more behind it with that passive insight, but that that is a true thing. I... Why? Ah, he was rude to me. But we've decided to travel with you. We're just not going to help you rebuild your church. You cannot take that suit of armor away from me. Well, I currently have it and you don't, so I already have. Therefore, it's not I can't, it's a you have. It is an ancestral heirloom. It is... It oh, is but technically him. you're not the Lothvagi that's related to him because you're in a different body. You're a whole different race now. Yeah. How I'm... could you be related to this guy? My My mind is my own. Is it though? Are you sure? Because you've been trapped in a ring and now there are two minds in one brain. That's not enough that's not enough brain for two. Maybe oh, you're there's... actually the hairless dwarf. Yeah, who are we talking to? Right now? Buggy. I am going to cast command. <laughs> it's certainly a choice. Uh, uh, I get to cast command at second level, and I'm going to target both Kuro and Mentaris, and the command is going to be, I want to say strip, but I don't want you to strip, I just want you to drop everything that you can possibly drop, uh, it's only one word, I think it might have to be strip. I don't even have the skin suit! Yeah, but... If I don't command you, then you're going to try and stop me doing what I'm going to do to Nantaras. 
here's okay, someone should stop you from doing what you here's do here's here's a, an important question nurgan does he have anything that would stop that uh, Nurgan, please. Oh, in fact, no. I'm not going. I'm not going to cast command. I'm going to cast hold person. Oh, on, on, uh, Nantaris and Curry. Okay, not Nurgan. Not Nurgan. Oh no, I can only cast it on one of you. I haven't mm -hmm. got a high enough spell slot. I'm going to cast hold person on Nantaris. Okay. Okay. I have resistance to. I have advantage on all saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Because oh, I'm a fae. We're going then. It's wisdom 15. Uh, constant, uh, wisdom 15. 23. Can I guidance? Oh, you don't need it. Damn it. <laughs> As Kuro reaches out to help, you don't even need it. You're good to go. It just slides right off of you, but you definitely feel a spell come your direction from the individual you know as Lethvagi now. I'm definitely Give pulling me. my knives at that. Give me my armor. Well, technically, is it yours or is it Grandad's? Uh... And you just tried to attack me, so I'm really going against this whole we decided to travel with you and kind of try and keep you alive while you did the god thing. Like, you're not doing a good show of, of like, getting us on side. Katie, hmm. am, I allowed, am I allowed to attack another player? Full on attack. If that is what you would like to do, I would like to go ahead and get initiatives for everybody, and I will do my best to control, help control Nurgan. We're putting you back in the ring right now. Okay, Lafagi with a four, you said? Yeah, I wrote in that one. That's okay. They kind of have the, uh, the... Is that a sign, maybe? The insight that you're a little on the sketch side, and I think everybody was a little on edge anyway, so that tracks. And I'm being... I was being genuinely like trying to help and get the body back together and then Taurus is winding a very highly strung person up. Yes. Just go through the portal after it, coward. Oh, oh, he absolutely will. <coughs> okay. If someone threw your great Plans in motion, plans in motion. If someone threw your great grandfather through a portal, I think you'd follow too. Uh, I don't really have much of a relationship with my great grandfather. Neither do I. Probably because mine's dead. Yeah, same. I went to his funeral, but we didn't really talk much there. Nantaris, with your initiative of uh, 13, you are first, if you would. <laughs> In this hot mess of a situation already. <laughs> 13 goes first. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen it's, it's looking a little rough over here in the initiative. We have 13, 12, 12, and 4 from what I see. We're all tired. Oh, yeah, I know you've got that bloody ring of mind shielding on, don't I? It's a pretty important fact it continuing to be Lethbaki, so yeah. Could, or I could also cast Witch Bolt at second level. Be able to. Is there any world in which we just talk about this? <laughs> there would be if you oh, didn't have the ring thing. of mind shielding, because I could charm person and speak to him. That's not talking to him, that's... <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to talk to him anyway, instead of winding him up about the most valuable object in we the We were world. talking! Somebody was like, I'm gonna make you strip! Most important item in the world. Was threatening to take it away. It's true. Well, talking is a free action, so uh, whenever it rolls around to anyone's turn, you may talk as much as you wish. I'm gonna move this way and pull the armor out of the bag of holding and hold it in front of me. Oh boy. All right. Well. And Jebedar is going to stand in front of Kuro. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move here, just in front of it. All right. That takes us to Kuro. Kuro, the octopus jumps in front of you protectively and Nintaris runs past you, skin suit flapping. Skin suit flapping is a hate isn't it? The because he turns the corner and Nintaris is just putting lotion on the skin. Ew. Hang on, hang on, that sounds dangerously like smut. Stop it. Oh. Guys, can we talk? Can we just talk about this without spells or running or... Can we just be civil? Be adults about this, please. I'm not putting my knives away, but I still want to be adults about this. I, I will put one knife away and pick up Jeb. I don't want him to get hurt. <laughs> And that's all I'm. I. 
I will make an attack against Lefagi if I will hold an action if he actually attempts to harm Nergen, Jeb, or Gintaris. Okay. Otherwise, I will stay quiet. You got it. Nergen's going to look at Lefagi and say, I do not think that uh, I wish to be involved in your squabbles. H however, I have been traveling with these two, and I do not wish to see them come to harm. So if you attack them, I will stop you. That is all. And he's going to prepare... Uh, let's go for... He's going to prepare third level magic missile. So if if Lethargy attacks any of the party, he will fire a third level magic missile. Okay. That brings it to Lethvagi with his four initiative. He's going to take a step up here. Kuro, I will leave. Just give me my armor. That is an heirloom beyond monetary value that is my life it is my ancestor it is it is something of such importance that you could not imagine i do not why see why nantaris is being cruel with it i am not trying to take anything away from you two i have offered you gold i have offered you my my power my my influence, my everything, just to help me, and I am being treated like the enemy. I do not understand. Please give me my armor back. Don't have it. Then let me pass. I'm not standing. I was not intending to block. That's yeah. fine. There's uh, about 10 feet of space. If you want to go walking past Kuro and Jebediah, you could. Uh, so I've probably gone 10. And then I'm going to dash as a bonus action and come around here and wait. Nintaris, give it to me, please, and I will leave. I have no wish to harm any of you, but that is that is too important to me. I will go. I will never, I will never see either of you two again. Just give me my armor, please. Ah. Uh I have a passive insight of sixteen. How genuine of how genuine are the emotions that I'm seeing in Lethargy? Lethargy is distraught. <laughs> you have taken and are using an item he holds more highly and more dear than anything else in the world, and he is desperately scared that you're going to take it away from him. Is it Antares' turn? It Lethargy is. is. Lethvagi's yeah. done. Yeah, if Lethvagi uh, has not done any particular actions beyond running in, uh, Nintaris, it does roll around to your turn, yes. Uh, Nintaris is going to walk forward and hand the armor over to Lethvagi and go, it's nice to see that you actually have some emotion that isn't just arrogance and ego. Because frankly, I'm sick of arrogance and ego. So be a bit more true to your emotions. Because I have no issue traveling with you. I just wanted to know that there is more than just arrogance in that body. The Vagi is going to hug the armor and sit on the floor, cradling it against his chest. And look at you with venom and hate and spite and vitriol he is he is not happy he is furious in fact he's going to get up and walk through the portal okay nintaris uh lethvagi disappears through the portal kuro there is a flash of green from the other room and you no longer hear talking oh look i'm just gonna peek around the corner I've got Jeb still. We talked about 
throwing the armor through. Yeah, we I didn't did. think we were actually going to do it. I didn't. You didn't? I, I was just joking around. And then he tried to do stuff, and I ran away. And then I gave it to him, and I told him it was nice to see emotion that wasn't arrogance, because he was genuinely upset. And that was a new thing. And then he just walked through the portal. He just left? Yeah. Uh, on, on my patron's honor, that is exactly what happened verbatim. He was very angry with me, which is understandable. Like, I did steal his granddad. Yeah, that was... I didn't but know I we gave were going back to threaten it. I didn't know we were going to threaten him with it. It was all... I, I didn't wasn't know we were actually going to do that part of the plan. I thought we were just going to... Th I thought you were going to explain to him that we were going to travel with him. It was what I thought was going to happen. And then a lot happened. I did... did. I'll be honest, I probably just wanted to get a little jab in because he annoyed me so much when we first met him. Because he was well, very arrogant towards me and you, and I didn't like that. So I wanted to teach him a lesson, and then he left. rich people for you, but... I guess that solves our problem of who we're going to travel with. If I suppose it does. If Nurgan will still have us after what happened. That, that wasn't really a great showing on our part. No. If not, we could just hire some were-rats. I hear they're forming a union. Yeah. Yeah. Hiring were-rats is always a possibility. Um, unfortunately, as you step back into the hallway, your friend Nurgan is nowhere to be seen. Oh, God. We're scared away. I guess it's just us. We did get our, got our solo adventure that we wanted. <laughs> We did, and yet somehow I still feel like I did something wrong. I do you. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I've learned from this that you shouldn't <laughs> threaten people with their deceased granddad trapped in a skin suit. Like this is a this is a learning point for me. If oh. the, if, it, if it ever comes up again, now you'll know. <laughs> I mean, we could follow him through the portal. That'd be funny. <laughs> he might stab us. Or me. Probably can I just me. Run and. I'll, I'll set Jeb down so he can be by you. I'm just going to, like, run over here and look. Is there any sign of Nurgan? He just. Uh, he just left. You can see some various disturbances in the dust from where you and possibly more recently Nurgan may have stepped through. Uh, it looks like if he was out here, he may have went further down one of the hallways. You know, when you originally met him, he was researching things like, uh, well, he, he wasn't intentionally researching things down here, but he was researching things like portals and other traveling things. So from his brief stories you heard, it's not unusual for him to disappear sometimes without necessarily meaning to. I'll go back. What, what, what now? What, um, what do we do now? I, what do we do now? I mean, we could travel and... Just, well, I, I'm happy to carry on exploring and making adventures. And find. And to be fair, now, any loot we find is only split between me and you. But are we at enough for this place? Just oh, we have Jeb Yes, but Jeb... I love you, Jeb. You're not really pulling <laughs> your, your weight in the combat side of things. Morale, you're doing great. You're do Keep doing what you're doing, sweetie, but... No, no, it's fine. Right? Fight. I'll see if I can learn that. What's that spell? I saw someone use it at the carne. You gotta give me more than that. Polymorph. I'll see if I can learn polymorph, and then we can just have Jebediah transform into an owl bear for every combat. And that's something you think reasonably that you're gonna be able to do in a somewhat soon capacity? Yes. I mean, I sure don't know, and I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I, I think it would be not a thing I could do right away. I'd have to probably learn a bit more. Well, maybe if we take it slow, don't try and go too hard on this dungeon. And we don't even have to go all the way. If we just load up our pockets with magic items, we head back to the top and 
No, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we haven't explored on this floor. That's true. And to be fair, there is that town further down. Skull something or other. Because I have to deliver a package there. Okay, I well, remember that. I don't, but I trust you. Uh, we could do that at the very least. That's a, a place to start. Just keep what working we, on this level. If we and... can get to the town, then we can see what we can do. Maybe meet somebody new, but I don't know where That's it is. That's true. Yeah. We'd have to explore. Do we have any idea where El Bagu went? They like, went what's on the other side of the portal? No, not without joining him. Hmm. I mean, we could... Do. I don't think he'd be happy to see us. I think he'd be fine seeing you. And I think he'd kill me. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Not until we can get you a ring of mind shielding, at the very least. And I promise I won't sell you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. Did we take a long rest recently? How are we doing? You uh, recently fought some slimes, shopped at a goblin bazaar, and then sat down to have a short rest while you talked about things, but I'm not sure a short rest was actually <laughs> had there. Had. It seems kind of stressful. I think I'm all right to keep going. I've only used one spell slot. I'm I'm Me fine too. to keep travel. I've got I've got a fair few things I can do. Where haven't we been yet? Well, there's a few odds and ends of places that you haven't been. Did uh, we go left at the crossroads with the picture on the wall? Uh, I don't know. Was this was this purple thing always here? It was not. I was going to mention it whenever you decided mm -hmm. if you were walking past the hallway. Uh, there is a purple light that was not previously existent in the room, kind of almost opposite of the portal. You're not sure if somebody going through the portal activated it, or what it's doing here, but there is a glowing, sort of pur purplish portal in the wall. I don't have anything I can do about this. Other than just look at it. Do you? Uh, I would like to do an arcana check to see if I recognize anything about it. Okay. No. <laughs> it's a it's a portal. It probably leads somewhere definitely magical. This is 100% magical. It definitely goes somewhere. Where? I couldn't tell you, but I'm a learned man, and I know it's a portal that goes somewhere. 100%. I hope you didn't go too far into student debt to get that knowledge. Um, I don't know if we want to mess with it. Do do we just hold hands and jump through and just, just wing it? Well, we it's don't know adventure. what's on the other side. Yeah, we, but if the adventure ends right now with us jumping, <laughs> what if it takes us to a room full of gold? What if it takes us to a room full of dragons? Perfectly preserved pastries and zombie knights, or whatever the scariest version then of zombies we, is. We just jump back the other way. I don't love this idea, but I do like the idea of a room full of perfectly preserved pastries. Right. It seems it's... that everyone's jumping into portals these days. It's just a hip thing to do. How I mean, about it's... one of us goes first? Do you want me to check it out and then... No, because what if it changes color and I end up somewhere else and then we have fully split the party? Nah, <laughs> now, that's true. I'm a learned enough man to know you don't fully split a party. <laughs> that's, that's how you die. Well, I was just thinking, like, if it did kill one of us, then Jeb wouldn't be a complete orphan. Just have a little bit of <laughs> Nothing a little therapy can't fix. But we can all go together. But it is just the three of us now. <laughs> you, me, and Jeff. So I think... <laughs> going going all together makes the most sense. We die, we die together? <laughs> we we came into this dungeon together. We'll go out of it together. One we way come in with or Jeb. another. Oh yeah, no, I found, found Jeb. Jeb. I, no, I summoned him in a barrel of beer. Oh, they were the good days. <laughs> it was like 24 hours ago, I swear. <laughs> My perception of time in this dungeon is just non-existent. I can't see the sun, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> it's true. It feels like it's been weeks. Months, even. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> should, should we jump? Uh, I, I, come on. Alright. It's gonna be so funny if we just bounce off this wall. Alright. Well, as you jump into this portal, can I have Nintaris and Kuro make wisdom saving throws? 
Is it a spell or magical effect? Kinda, sorta. Feel free to take the advantage or whatever you may have. Fifteen. Ah, uh, really? Seventeen. Very nice. As you both jump through the portal, the dusty, rocky, old surroundings around you fade from in front of your eyes. Briefly, it's very, very dark, and then you see sunlight filtering through the velvet curtains next to your warm, cozy feather bed. The comforter is nice and thick, and you go to kick it off. You can see across the way Kuro Nintaris is in his own little feather bed, and you can see uh, just out in front of the door, it looks like somebody's set down a room service. You can see the sunlight outside. You can hear someone saying, uh, out in the street appears to be a younger child saying, Extra, extra, read all about it. Waterdeep's new lords. So we're... I'm going to go look out the window. Does it look the same out there? Make a perception check. Changing was too shocked to speak. <laughs> Seven. On a nat one. Very nice. Uh, it looks, I mean, exactly like you left it. Same season as far as you can tell uh fairly warm you think you're looking down from maybe the yawning portal one of the rooms there i'm in the same room as Antares. uh um, yes there are oh. two hotel style beds across from each other is jeb here uh yes there is a small uh wooden bucket that appears to have been set on a desk that jeb is in just kind of lazily floating around tentacle wise man the foggy picked the wrong portal <laughs> Did we just have a fever dream? Did we ever go down down into the dungeon? Jeb's still here. Oh Do you God. summon in your sleep? Uh, I don't know. I, know. I haven't done it in the past, but maybe. You know, mm -hmm. sleep Do speaking, I, sleep I walking. On, I go on my bag. Do I still have my rock candy? Uh, yeah, you appear to have everything in your bag that you had last you recall. Okay. So this seems like it happened. Oh, okay. So, so how did how did we get here? We jumped in a portal. I think it was your idea. I think it was. So it, it sent us up, not down. That's annoying. Yeah. We're gonna have to go all the we way back. We can restock on anything. Well, well we can, is, is the portal there's that still dragonborn here? lady that wants lot that's gonna give us lots of money for things. Oh, and I can spread rumors about Lethvagi. And we could find someone new to tr come yeah, with us. Yeah, we could. That would probably be a good idea. Are they going to make us pay the entry fee again to go back down? We'll have money. We'll have new money from our, yeah. our magic items. So oh, it'll be, be fine. Okay. I hope there's really no sinister twist to this. This seems lovely. Did you see the Did you see the crier boy? Did he have a newspaper? Is he still out there? Uh, yes, there is still a small boy in sort of a newsboy cap, vaguely screaming about headlines outside on the sidewalk. Should I go buy a paper? I'm gonna... No, Lothvagi can buy us a paper because I never gave him his money back. <laughs> I just gave him a pack. <laughs> I gave him the Explorer's pack he had. <laughs> I think I'm going to donate that. Or if, if we do go back down, we can leave the rest of his stuff in his temple. I, I think assume that's, that's where think, he's going back to. To be honest, I think if we go back down, I'll just leave all of his stuff in the temple with a note saying, I'm sorry. But he can buy us a paper. Thing. He can buy us it's a It's going to be like two copies or something, I don't know. And then we just uh, won't tell him that part. He's rich, he doesn't care. He's, he's got all the money. I'm going to poke my head out the window. And look at the, the paper boy and yell down and be like, oh, excuse me, can you throw a paper up here and I will throw a coin at your face? Uh, you can throw the coin first. I know how you people are. We throw them together at the same time. Roll an insight check. <laughs> I literally just volunteered to walk down there and get you a paper. 25. Uh, there is a moment where you and the kid both try to fake each other out, squint at each other, and then if you both do so choose to throw, you do. You receive a paper for the uh, one copper you ch toss out the window. You are looking at what appears to be the Waterdeep Gazette. How many days has it been since we descended? Uh, looking at it, it, it looks like it's uh, the 
same day you would have left, as far as you can tell. Unless the kid's got late papers. Did we buy bad paper? This isn't news, this is old. Is he, is he still there? Paper, uh, paper boy, is this fresh paper or old paper? Like, are you giving us new news or is it old news? I don't care for old news. It's today's news, isn't it? Oh, what it time it. of day is it outside? Uh, looks like it is early afternoon. What time did we go down? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> was it relevant to the plot? I think it was midday-ish. Well, we could go down there and see how the barkeep reacts to maybe seeing us again, maybe seeing us for the first time. If you poke your head out to uh, look into the circular sort of area that takes up most of the lower part of the yawning portal, you uh, you don't see as many people as you expected. Even during your off-season first visit when you came in, there were four or five people sitting around at various tables. Currently, the only occupants are uh, what appears to be a small something sleeping on top of a table inside of... You think maybe it's wearing a bucket for a helmet? Snoring quietly on a table? Otherwise, there is at the bar uh, Dernan the barkeeper that you do recognize cleaning a glass. Just looking around. You do see the infamous well that you entered in currently has an under construction sign posted across the front of it. Do you see our dragonborn lady? Oh, did we double die? No, it is empty in here. Should we speak to Dernan? That's a good idea. Because I'm confused. Yeah. It doesn't take much to confuse me, but I am confused. It was definitely not construction when we went down. And it should it's and supposedly this... the day we went down? I don't... This is some fey shit. You need to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck. Dernan. He looks up. Oh, good morning to you. You need some breakfast? Uh, I wouldn't say no to some breakfast. Um, is this the first time you've seen me? This morning? Yes. Have I stayed here for a while? Oh, well, I believe you were here to enter the, uh, and he jerks a thumb at the well. After that cave-in last night, uh, they brought in, you know, a few odds and ends out of down there, so glad you made it out okay. There was a cave-in? I guess that's what happened. He kind of motions when... over. When did we go down? Oh, you know, earlier. Uh, it was either today or yesterday. He kind of looks off in the middle distance, shrugs as he keeps scrubbing. So we did go down. Uh, so we did. Well, you must have. I mean, somebody brought you back up after the accident. Or at least I assume so. I, I wasn't awake when you came in, but... Am I injured? Do I look like I was in a cave-in? Uh, you do not have any bruises or other injuries that you were previously unaware of. Okay. Whereabouts was the cave in? Do you know? Oh, somewhere farther down. I, I think they said uh, second level. Mostly wiped out. It sounded pretty harsh. That's where we were? We second got down level? to the second level and there was a hell of a war going on between um, some goblins Ooh. and Xanathar's guild. Shrugs. Maybe they finally blew something up. That sounds like exactly what the Xanathar Guild would do. Just always causing problems. Yes. What's the thing under the bucket? You can't just call, ask what... You can't call customers things like that. Says, uh... Couldn't tell you, to be honest. I uh, wasn't awake when they brought that in either. I honestly didn't notice it was breathing until you said something. I look back into the room. Is there any sign of the descent of the portal? Well, we're stuck here. Well, that. Uh, do you want to ask if he's seen our dragonborn? I don't remember her name or what she looked like. I'm I think fairly... we talked to her. I, 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 I want to say, I want to say, silver dragonborn lady named Obadobadobadobadai. You spell it. <laughs> Please do. I could give it a go. Uh, let me have a check. I haven't... I've got it written down here somewhere. Well, while you're looking for uh, Dragon Lady-ish descriptions, uh, 
the individual sleeping on the table shifts and rustles just a little bit. Rob, would you like to describe yourself? So what kind of unfurls itself from this table is a purple cobalt that is indeed wearing a bucket on its head. It's also wearing armor that's made up of yeah, you're right. It's other like there's a baking tray in there. I think there's a washboard on the back. There's I think he's kind of stuffed like mop heads into like bits to cushion the armor as well. And there is a weapon at his belt, but it's a ladle. And he kind of stretches on the table and then kind of looks around like stands up ready for a fight. Oh. Uh. Nah, I've been here. Hmm. Why am I here? I was down there. We were too. Why are you up here? He thought it was a good idea to jump into a glowy portal. Nah, don't do that. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, Jebediah, why did? did you tell us to do that? <laughs> Sad tentacles. <laughs> oh, Jebediah, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that? Jebediah, he's your bucket buddy. I uh, can't have my bucket. He's my, my helmet. He's got a bucket, so. Take my head. Match. Lots of important things up here. Mm, like how you got up here? Um, why am I here? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Why are you there? I was down there. Yeah, what's, so the last we. Thing, what's the last Were thing you remember down there? I was fighting. Fighting where? Uh, We're fighting dark, what? under goblins. Like if you had to guess, maybe like the second level of a dungeon. Oh, I I don't numbers not good. So like you went down one, and then you went down one more, maybe. Four. Four. You do know numbers. No one one four. No 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 it's one one more than one more than one more than one. More than one. <laughs> I like understand ah. each other. Yeah. Basically, he's an idiot who doesn't know how deep he was. Yeah. Uh, I, paladin. Glory, I fight. But we did need a fighter. That would be nice. And his armor is not made out of people. Is any of your armor sentient and of a relation to you? I can form sentences. I like him. Uh, you know what? Me, you, Bucket Hat, and Jebediah. <laughs> That's a very Are you trying? party. Are you trying to go back down? Are you interested in going back down? Uh, fight. More fight? Fight. We can show you a fight. Not with us. Like, not against us. Like, uh, we'll, we'll fight together. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, do, I do spells. Uh, I do spells I... and I hit things with sharp ends of things. Uh, yeah, smite. Uh, I don't do that, but I like that for you. Yeah, smite. Yeah. That's sp spell psh, smite. Mm -hmm. Paladin. And he bangs himself on the head. Uh, who's your god? Uh, or goddess? Or who, who do you fight for? Uh, mop. Mop? Yeah. Mop. You Your mop. mop? Yeah. Mop. Fight for yourself. Mop. Yeah. Who's very mop. brave? Who's boss? Mop boss. He's self-employed. Ah. Uh, well. So. Seems like we have any a lot of other options, and I quite like this option. I I I think. I, yeah, I'm not going to say no to mop. No, make mop sad. No, no, no. Dare. Yes, fight. Yes, fight. 
if we cast in large on Jebediah, we could have Mop riding Jebediah into battle. Just I thought you were going to say you're going to cast in large on Mop, then big Mop. But both of these are options I like. Oh, either one works. We, 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 we've got this. So we're yeah, looking good. for, I've got a few names here. But uh, I've got here Wakonya Otamamu Obadobadai. Because I can't read my own writing. You want to ask Durden about her? See if we get a little extra cash? Or maybe Durden. stash some of our stuff up here? Durden, and there, there was a dragonborn lady here that was wanting to buy items from people that had been down and come back. They said they were staying here and they worked for a wizardy magey person. Sure. Sure, yes, I remember. Uh, you could probably find them over at the wizard tower section of town over towards the uh, castle ward. There's a few of them over that direction. Uh, Perfect. And are you wanting to excavate quickly down to the bottom? So you can reopen the, uh, the old business. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, I didn't think about it, if we can get back there. You know, I, I haven't given it much thought yet. Uh, I'll be sure to let you know. He keeps cleaning the glass that he's cleaning. You're pretty sure he's been cleaning the same glass for a minute since you all arrived? Because if you want, I could, you know, twiddle my fingers and make a ten-foot sphere appear and just eat its way through the ground. Uh, he looks... You know what, Nintaris, make an insight check. 18. Something about the way that he answers you has an edge of panic, anxiety to it, as he says, no, no, I think we're quite fine, we can handle it ourselves. Yeah, no, there's something wrong there. Talk to me, Dernan, or I start blasting a ten-foot sphere in your crater. That he shrugs and says well, well blast away if you need to that's uh that's up to you i'll just stand back here out of the way and keep cleaning the same glass you've been cleaning since we started this conversation he begins to shrug and as his mouth opens as though he's going to say something there is the vague sound of screaming from outside on the street followed by wood breaking fight <laughs> and uh Mop is off. All right. To fight. Mop is out the front door. I'll follow Mop. All right. Uh, anyone who so chooses to take a quick running look outside and see what's going on. Coming down the street towards you, at first you take it to be a crowd of people stampeding each other out of the way. But it, it is a crowd of people. But what is following them and causing the stampede doesn't appear to be an animal or necessarily living in a classical uh, manner. Tables, chairs, barrels, all manner of wooden object appears to have grown teeth, legs, and be running its way down the street after a crowd of helpless water davians. And we'll probably pick back up there next week. All right. Cool.